We're getting set here underway as Willis delivers to Dallas Goodnight. And we're underway here in the 2023 season in front of this sold out complex. And Dallas Goodnight, a transfer from Alabama. Outside, ball four. A walk. First pitch, hit into the hole and base hit through to left field. A single for Jaden Goodwin. Her first hit is a Bulldog. And Georgia threatening early here. First and second, nobody out. Did she go? She did. That's a strikeout. First strikeout for Sarah Willis as a Knight. It's a big one as she gets the All-American Mosley for the first out in the first. 3-2 pitch. There's a changeup. Rowe goes back. The ball will stay in the park at the warning track. Tagging from second to third is Goodnight. It's a fly out for Kearney. And there are two outs with runners at first and third. She missed a lot of time and limited her action, but she is a talent. Fully healthy runner goes. They throw to second. It's cut off by Williams. As Goodwin takes second, Georgia there, there's a what Tony Baldwin's talked about. It's Willis on the 0-2 pitch. Goes away, Chambly went around, and a strikeout for Willis to get out of the threat. In the rain. There's a strike three, frozen. A great pitch by Walters to get Volpe. Chops it to third. Nice play to throw to first in time as Sarah Mosley makes the play. The All-American. In front of the then largest crowd on opening night. She lines one to third, but right to Mosley, who shows off her glove this inning. And the Knights go down in order in the first. 3-2. There it is again, and it gets the strikeout. Oh, my goodness. She just pulled the strings on that pitch. It's a 3-2 to Fields. That's a grounder to the right side. As Macario, oh, not handled by Doherty. And that will likely be an error as Fields reaches 2-2. Swing and a miss, and a strikeout for Willis. Her fourth strikeout of the ball game through two innings. And in Tampa there, Houston in the fourth spot is Chloe Evans gets a base hit to start the bottom of the second for the Knights. The first hit of the Knights 2023 season belongs to Chloe Evans, the transfer from Minnesota the next night. She was a big spark. As Speaking of spark, here's Kennedy Searcy with a base hit. And just like that, the Knights back-to-back -back hits have their first threat of the ball game. Two on, nobody out here in the second. Kind of bring that little small ball action right there with a butt to first. That'll get the job done. The throw is too high, and she's safe. Everybody's safe. The Knights have the bases loaded and nobody out. You, you know more about that than I do. She hits one to third off Mosley's glove. They'll go to second. They'll get the out, but that's going to get the run in as Chloe Evans scores, and Willis is going to take off for second because nobody was covering the bag. Heads up play by Willis, and the Knights lead 1-0. One, 1-2. One, she reaches for it, hits it to Mosley. Mosley looks at third. will go to first in time to get Williams. Good out there. Nice job by Mosley. She taps it. Back to Walters, will underhand a first nice scoop by Chambly for the third out of the inning. That was not easy. 3-0 pitch from Sarah. Ball four, so two walks tonight for Dallas Goodnight. First pitch runner goes, a swing and a miss. Throw by Lee, not in time. There's a steal for Goodnight. She gets her first steal and she's in scoring position now. They're looking to get back to Oklahoma City this year after being there a couple years ago. One, two. It's a high chopper to second. Macario is there. We'll throw to first. They just get Goodwin out. Boy, you saw the speed from Goodwin. But it's a productive out, Francesca, because it advances Goodnight to third. 3-2 pitch. Mosley lines one to center. Over the pass row for a hit. That will tie the game up at one, as it's an RBI double for Sarah Mosley. And we're all squared at one. This is a great hit right now for Mosley. 3-2, what's her pitch? She knows she's going to get an off speed. And you see the center fielder row is shifted to that right center field gap. And that is why she ends up not being able to catch this ball. That off speed was just left a little too high. 3-2 pitch. Swing and a miss and a strikeout. Fifth strikeout of the, of the night. And a big one to get Kearney for the second out. You and I weren't even here for that. There's a 3-1. Why weren't you here? Walk. <laughs> strike three looking. Frozen. Sixth strikeout for Willis. 
and gets her out of the jam. And this group, and that's why they're shooting big for OKC this year. That's a swing and a miss. They're going to have to complete the strikeout, though. Volpe throw to first. They just get Volpe out. Oh, that was bang, bang play. Nice throw by Davis. You know, you have to have your own personal goals as well. Hits one slow grounder to the third. Mosley's there. Throw, not handled by Chambly. And Cody reaches. We'll see how they score that. I want that shirt. We can make some, we can talk to people. <laughs> that ball's ripped into right field. Off Kuma, Cody rounding third. And Shannon Doherty with a hit. And the Knights now with runners at the corners and one out. The 0-2 pitch. Chloe reaches for it, gets a base hit. Cody will score. It's an RBI single for Evans. And the Knights now regain the lead, 2-1 to one here in the third on the RBI single by Chloe Evans. I'm going to talk about barrel control and body control. This is exactly what Evans does right here. She's out in front, but you see her keep her hands back long enough. You saw her body, her lower half of her body start to move forward, but the fact that she kept her hands back long enough. Three balls, two strikes, the count, one out. The pitch. Hit to third to Mosey. We'll tuck the back at third for one to throw to first. In time, double play. Huge double play turn by Mosley. And a swing and a miss and a strikeout of Fields. Payoff pitch. Well, they're to say it hit her. It doesn't matter. She's going to get on base. That was going to be a ball forward, but it hit her. There's a strike. Throw to second. Not in time. There's a steal by Armistead. This year, that'll be the case. As Goodnight fouls it off, and Goodnight's a big part. Oh, they're going to call her out. They're going to call her out. Out of the box there. And DeVoe gets out of the inning. <laughs> oh, there's a strike three. Looking as Walters gets the strikeout. Which Bob Owens says is, is intrigued by how to use As Williams grounds into second. Kuma is there. Will throw to first. And an easy one, two, three inning for Walters and the Bulldogs. Payoff pitch. Off speed. Hit to third. Knocked down by Cody. Cody to first. In time to retire Kearney and the Bulldogs here in the fifth. It's popped up, Chad in foul territory. Mosley makes the catch. 3-2. Ivans knocks one down off Walters, and she will get a hit. That was hit a bullet there by Aubrey Evans. Her first hit is a night. And the pitch, Doherty hits a grounder. Oh, nice play by Mosley. It took a wicked hop there, but she made the play. As gets Doherty to ground out as Kerpix comes in relief. DeVille falling behind here. That is outside, a four-pitch walk to Chambly to start the Bulldog sixth inning here. Chambly at first and nobody out. She squares the bunt, runner goes, throw by Evans, high to center field, backed up. Postseason game, 2-2. Oh, and that hit, Kuma, left-handed hitter. First pitch from Felt. There's a butt by it, it's a beauty. Cody, there's gonna be no play as nobody was covering at first as Doherty was coming in. Dory was coming in, McCarty didn't cover, and the dogs have the bases loaded, nobody out. She watches her pupil, Felton. As Fields off McCarty and into right field for a hit. That's going to score Chambly. The throw home is not in time. As there's a score, throw to third is in time. They get the out as they get Eaton, the pinch runner, out. But Chambly and Kuba score. It's a two RBI hit by Jaden Fields to give Georgia a 3-2 lead. And Georgia just coming up big when you need to get that hit. Just smoking it down the second baseline, easily going to score to take the lead. And then still heads up from UCF to be able to get the aggressive runner out. But take another look, Macario at second base, she's, uh, she's in because its base is loaded, so unable to come up with that play. That is hit to left. Carrying Searcy and Willis, it's Searcy makes the catch from left field. What a catch by Kennedy Searcy. Fields advances to third, but Searcy with an incredible catch at left. It's the 3-0. Good night. Takes ball four. A two-out walk. Runner goes, uh, not handled there by Evans, but a steal nonetheless. It's Felton on a 3-1 count. Inside ball four and a walk. Second walk for Felton. 0-2. Oh, oh, that gets past Evans into the backstop, and that's going to get Fields to score. And Georgia extends the lead to 42. 1-2 count. Got her. Strikeout for Felton. 
to end the inning. Yes, you should go to school. And a strike three looking frozen. A dominant one, two, three inning by Madison Kerpex. 3-1. That's outside of the ball. Ball four to walk to Chamberlain. 3-0 pitch away, ball four, and a walk to Davis. And the 3-2. Inside strike three, corner, frozen. A strikeout for Felton, gets Fields, and keeps it a two-run game. 1-2, swing and a miss. Kerpix gets Willis to strike out with the rise there. And Jazz, there's a competitiveness right there, the base hit in the right center. She's rounding first. Williams will stand at second with a one-out double. There's that competitive edge Coach Ball Malone likes about Williams. 2-2. Two -two. Macario hits a high fly ball. Playable. Center. Good night. Makes the catch. And the Knights are down to their last out. The 0-2. Got her. She gets Evans on the strikeout. And the Georgia Bulldogs take this top 20 match showdown.